Hello everyone, welcome back to Piston Cup Productions and in this video we're going to be doing a unboxing and layout build on uh, well at first glance you probably don't know what it is and yeah I know the box is beat up but um maybe this commercial right here will refresh your memory It's a busy day on the railway for Thomas and friends With lots to see and do Thomas needs a full load of water and coal to have lots of energy and be useful all day. Creating the world of Thomas and friends can be hours of fun. Available now, only from Tomy. You know that commercial right there? Alright, anyways. Uh, yeah, the box is beat up. It was on eBay, but... um, You see, I've been wanting this set for as long as I can remember. Ever since I was a kid, I, I always wanted this set. And I finally got it. And I'm happy, because um, kids today don't know what this is. And it's sad. But um, I brought up some of my older stuff to sort of assemble. And to um, put together to make the... Um, Let's just say the ultimate layout. So yeah, let's go ahead and build it up and do a little bit of a model run, shall we? Before we kick off this review, I just wanted to quickly mention there are two variations of this quote-unquote Thomas Ultimate set. Um, the first edition being the one we're reviewing in this video, being the 2005 edition. Um, if I'm not mistaken, in 2006, later on, they released a second version. That now had the suspension bridge instead of the red bridge and instead of percy now it had mighty mag and a few different other things and the track layout was a little bit different but um yeah we're reviewing the og one in this video okay okay so the set has been completed and i've added in my own little twist to it but um man nostalgia is powerful isn't it look at this i mean i feel like a kid all over again i mean five-year-old me is just screaming right now because as a kid every time i'd see that commercial i was like I want that set, I want that set, I want that set. And, I mean, I personally, as a kid, don't remember ever seeing it in stores. I think it was released in 2005, if I'm not mistaken. Um, here are the instructions for that set. Oh, thank goodness it came with instructions. I mean, you know, there's a lot of batteries to be installed. I've installed most of the batteries on the items here. There is one item that unfortunately came that doesn't work. Being cranky. Um, you see, on cranky... When an engine comes along, it's supposed to stop right there. And Cranky's supposed to spin around like if he's loading up car going into one of the trucks. And then after like about five-ish seconds, it lets him go and the engine can continue going. Well, um, I installed batteries and everything. It just doesn't seem to work. Um, I've bought new batteries and it just doesn't work. Then I took it apart. I tried messing with it to see if I could fix it. And it worked for a little bit. But then it started making this high-pitched like screaming screeching sound and i was like i don't want to risk it anymore i'm just gonna leave it without batteries um because i mean when i dismantled it or i think that's the right word disassembled it i in my bed um there's a lot of gears that work together to turn this cranky from this point to this point over here it, you can know you can turn it all the way right there it turns with that little crank pin right there that type of little thing right there and there's another one down there that spins with the batteries on but um, like I said, it's not working and the batteries usually go in there, right there where the on and off switch is. But um, it's just making that high pitched screeching sound and I just don't want to risk it anymore. I did manage, however, when I opened it up from the bottom to get the stop and go track lowered. So now the trains won't get stuck there when they're passing through. Because usually without batteries, this one right here is supposed to be up kind of like that and it'll stop the train and cranky will spin and after cranky finishes the spin it'll let him go i managed to put it down so now they won't stop at all because without batteries it's gonna stop there and it's just not gonna move unless someone comes along and pushes it out of the way like me or another engine for example so um in a sense it kind of works but kind of doesn't i mean you're losing a feature but at least now the engines can pass by without getting stuck on that yellow stop track. Anyways, back to the instructions. So, um, one issue that I see with the set is it's just one lane. 
And you might say, no, PCP, look, there's a second one right there, another one right there, another one right there. Well, yes, but we're talking main line. There's only one line where both engines can pass through. Here, you can have two engines running on two lines, but then pinpoint right there, they're both going to run on the same line again. Unless you stop them right here, let one pass, go through this um, part of the layout, and let the other one go over there. That's too much of a hassle, I said. I'm going to add my own twist to it. Um, the road and everything is there, but really what changed, I'll show you right now. I took out this track right here and this track right here, and I basically made an, oh, my own separate line going through the back of the bridge, the red bridge, going around the road and connecting back over here. So basically an entire new outer loop, which brings us to that green suspension bridge over there. And there's the extension right there. You don't have the two pinpoints right there that connect to one line. Now it just goes all the way around, past Wellsworth Station, all around to that coal depot right there. Curves through this little snake thing type of track down to this windmill right here. And now you actually get over here where the other set of pinpoint points thing was right here where it would merge from two points to one point. That's gone. I've done two complete separate lines. So now you can run two engines without them having to cross into the middle of one line. Because normally, when you see just one line of track, you think, oh, branch line. No, I want this to be as Sodor as possible with many lines. So I was like, you know what? One line, two lines, and if you want to count the inner line, that's three, four. I mean, there's le there's several sightings. Because of course you got the shed sighting, then you got the uh, engine wash sighting. It's just a lot of variety I wanted to add in, and overall, this was the end result. A little tweaking here and there did the trick, it seems. Um, but yeah, that is the Tomy Ultimate set as far as my layout goes. Now we're going to do a quick run. Um, I will take a look at a few of the items that were included. Uh, some of the items that were included, of course, were Thomas and Percy and the cargo that they have pulling behind them. And of course, it also had included some road vehicles because you can't have road without the vehicles. So uh, it doesn't say right there. That just says the pieces you get. I mean, you get Thomas, Percy, uh, Terrence, Coraline or Caroline, Bulgy, uh, Elizabeth, Harold, Bolstrode, Cranky. I mean, the variety of characters, it's all there. Um, yeah, you can see right there all the characters that are included. It truly is the ultimate set. I mean, you got Scruffy also. You got Troublesome Truck 1 and 2. It really is something from a bygone era. I mean, there you go. 2004. Licensing info down there. Made in Thailand. Huh. Wow, Thailand. Look at this. You used to make great shit. Don't you think? I mean, this is just beyond. I mean, you can't compare this to what's out on the market nowadays. They don't make stuff like this anymore. Um, I mean, what else is there to say? This is just something that you wish you could find in your local store. Just walk in and pick it up, but you can't. See, this is what you call a Sodor set. This is the island of Sodor. This feels like a chunk of Sodor jumped off the screen and just was placed into my living room. Not the sets of today with Thomas running away from a dragon or doing jumps on a sky high bridge jump or doing 360s on a, a shipwreck rail set or running from a tornado with a spinning cow or whatever and a barn breaking apart and Thomas is inside of barn spinning around at like, what, two miles an hour? No, see, this is Sodor. This is all you need. A few bridges, road, characters that are not just Thomas, a few cargo cars, a turntable, some sheds, and you've got pretty much the island of Sodor at your very own hands right here. So um, uh, some of the features, I mean, you've got Harold's, I mean, I call it Harold's Station. I know it's probably not called that. I have one of these. Uh, maybe one day I'll do a Tomy collection because I have way more Tomy stuff than just this from tracks and engines. Um, I mean, here's some of the other stuff we have. Trackmaster 1, I mean, there's Paxton, the Jet Engine, Scarlowy, Extra Annie and Clarabelle's. Uh, what else do we got in here? Blue Mountain Quarry cars. I mean, there's even some Trackmaster 2 stuff in here. And I mean, look. Talking James from the OG Trackmaster. Uh, I tried putting batteries in him because I wanted to give James a run. But he's not working. 
Uh, it's just showing its age, certainly, because um, it just won't run anymore. Steven's in there, too. Uh, we took a look at Paxton already. Talking Percy. There's just characters after characters. And I used to have more than this. I sold a lot of my Thomas collection when I started getting into Cars when Cars 3 was coming out. And I regret it a lot. But for the most part, I still have a lot of the rare items in my collection that I was like, you know what? This stuff is unsellable. I'm going to keep it because it's rare stuff and it's from my childhood. Um, I mean, but yeah, there's a few Trackmaster 2 stuff in there because, you know, that's what's on the market right now. Um, there's a few cargo cars I brought out. Uh, you got Emily, Stephanie, Edward, Toby, Tommy, Henry, Trackmaster Talking, Gordon. I mean, you've got all of these cars over here. And let me just show you guys real quick. My brother was like, the, the cars fit from cars on the road. And I was like, you know what? Let's test it out. And remember, Cars to McQueen is the thicker model instead of the Cars 3 one that's a lot more slim. So I was like, let's see if it works. Yep, it works pretty much. You might be wondering, does it work at that crossing right there? Well, let's find out. Yep, it works through the corners, the straights, everything. Lightning McQueen compatible. Can it go down the ramp at like 100 miles an hour? Let's find out. Eh, somewhat. But um, yeah. And there's Cranky over there. Like I said before, I added in that um, engine wash. That wasn't included. Usually the tunnel goes there, but I got that from my collection. Suspension bridge is up the back. Wellsworth is added as well. I mean, I added the, sus the suspension bridge and Wellsworth, as well as the coal and water depot thing over there. And of course the windmill I added in from a Christmas set from Tommy. I added that in. Um, I added this station. It wasn't included. I just thought this was the finishing touch to that crossing right there because it's all the same color. Um, the set included trees. Some of those signals, which I've never had before. Uh, Terrence, of course, was included. Coraline, Caroline. Yeah, Caroline. She was included as well. Bulgy. Um, more trees and stuff. I mean, this is what you need. I mean, look at the little details with those little signs right there. Just look at that. And you got, of course, a turntable. I mean, what more could you ask for? And, of course, you got those OG sheds. It is just beyond quality. But, um, anyways... I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video with a little run of the Tommy set. Let's give them a run.
be pretty much it for this video everyone i hope you enjoyed and hopefully in the future i'll be doing a bit more of um these type of thomas videos because um, i'm nostalgic for this franchise i mean before cars there was thomas for me uh thank you all so much for watching and i gotta go because they're top of hats out of town and someone's got to control these engines mr percival's not gonna help trust me i i know so i gotta do this by myself thanks for watching